Up to the 30, the 20, 10, 5, Torrey Hart back to the end zone. Oh. yard play. Guess who? Body up the middle, making another move to the outside. 15, 10, end zone again. Next move by Brown. He's got space. He's got six. 35-yard touchdown for Byron Brown. A record-setting night for the South Florida quarterback. So far, a little bit of a high snap. Genty right up the middle. Genty has room. Ashton Genty. Give him six. Lagarde tries to beat it. The G5 Hive. All G5, all the time. Welcome to the G5 Hive Live. We are excited to bring you the G5 college football coverage you love each and every week. I am Luke. I am joined by my co-host, Justice. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're watching us on X, please give us a follow, a like, and a retweet. And if you're listening to us in podcast form, please rate and review. And don't forget to get the G5 Hive merchandise store. It is now live. Link is at the bottom of the YouTube video comments as well as pinned on our X page and at the bottom of this screen. Woo-hoo. All right. Next up, the Hendricks Award uh, given to the best defensive end in college football. Um, and, you know, and we, we've talked about this guy. We've been talking about this guy since the spring and summer. Mike Green at Marshall. Um he he is an absolute stud. He is a beast. I think I think I heard Dane Brugler put him in his top fifty uh, for um, the upcoming NFL draft. Um, the, the kid is just a phenomenal talent, having a phenomenal season. Um, they have not named the finalists yet um, for this award, um, but you know. I, I try. I, I try to go through and look at the competition who I would deem as his competition, um, and I came up with uh, Trey White, San Diego State, another uh, G five player who you know I think you make a good argument for him as well. He is second in the nation in sacks. Antoine Powell Ryland, uh, Virginia Tech, having a phenomenal year there for Virginia Tech. Uh, Plinsley Umanmielin from Ole Miss, Brendan Mott from Kansas State. Abdul Carter from Penn State, and James Pierce Jr. from Tennessee. All those guys are having great seasons, but none of them are having as great a season as Mike Green. Like, Mike Green is, like, on point in terms of, you know, defensive ends. He is number one in sacks with 15. He is number one in stops with 40. That's stopping the opposing offense on third and fourth down. I mean, just that, that stat alone is a phenomenal stat. Um, number two in havoc rate with 18%. James Pierce Jr. is number one in havoc rate at 19%. He is number two in total pressures with 52 total pressures. Number one is not even someone that I think is in the conversation to win the award, uh, Michael Kamara. And he's only number one by one, uh, one more total pressure with 53. And he is number one in the nation for tackles for loss. Uh, Mike Green is by far, and, and you know, he did it against Ohio State. You can't say it's because he didn't play anybody. Um, he's had he's had great games against great competition, and like you know, teams are like scheming against him, right? They're double, I'm sure he's getting double teamed on every play, um, because of the outstanding year he's having, and he's still like he's getting better as the season goes on. Like, you know, he's getting two and three sacks every week for the last, I think, three weeks. Um, you know, ODU is scheming things up right now. Absolutely, they're, they're, absolutely. And I'm, and I'm excited to see him in person. I'm excited to get to see him in person. But, man, like, Mike Green, like, he is an absolute stud. Uh, he deserves the Hendricks Award. Um, you know, and, and and none of these other guys, I think, are, are, are they're not having bad seasons. But they're not, again, they're not across the board. They're not having the same type of season that Mike Green is. I mean, you know, Trey White's doing great in sacks. Um, you know, James Pierce Jr. is, is great in havoc rate. But when you when you count pound for pound, stats for stats, you know, Mike Green across the board. Those other guys are very are, are not as consistent as Mike Green. And you know, again, the, the, in my opinion, there's no other choice to win the Hendricks Award. 
Um, and it's not like it's not really close in my mind. Uh, it definitely should be Mike Green from Marshall. Absolutely. And that's going to wrap right. up, wrap us up this week. That was a little bit longer, but it was great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a lot of people watching online, uh, YouTube, X. Uh, make sure you go out, you follow us if you like what we do. Uh, show us some love out there on, on Twitter. Come back and join us next week as we discuss what happened in week 13 as well as look forward to week 14 of the 2024 season. And as always, bring you up to date on all the latest news and happenings from the world of G5 college football. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you're watching us on X, please give us a retweet, a like, and a follow. And if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please subscribe and leave those five-star ratings and reviews. Thank you all for your support. Until the next time, we are the G55. We are the G55.